This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing another video on FTDNA and this is a two-part video. One's going to be covering what took place on a Y-DNA test prior to uh, a big Y upgrade from a cousin and the second part is going to be when the cousin's DNA was finally processed for big Y. I have my brother-in-law's block tree up on the screen now because I'm going to show you what my brother-in-law's big Y kit looks like and his block tree looks like now, time tree, that information as it looks today. And then when his cousin's DNA completes, then we're going to show where it adjusts. So right here on the block tree, my brother-in-law shows that he has 12 private variants, or at least his group does between two men that's what it shows on the block tree so we're going to go over to my brother-in-law's y dna matches on his block big y matches that is and you notice there's no matches for him he doesn't have anyone that matches him in the matching yet that means nobody's within 30 snips of him at the big y so on his private variants i wanted to bring this up and show that he has 18 private variants to his name at this point. Let's go back to discover more and see what we see. So we're, we're in the discover more side of this. It's got two numbers here already stating the parent of his terminal SNP is approximately 350 CE or AD, depending on which way you want to put it, and 550 CE or AD is when that was formed. That's a long time ago. Well, let's take a look at this on the time tree and see what that looks like. Well, when you look at this, and I showed you earlier his block tree this is him because it's in red and this is this is him because his uh earliest known ancestor is from germany and the other person that he matches in that block with is u.s so i know which one of these two are which well in this case we still are t stepping all the way back in time as we said before to 545 ce as it shows on the time tree let's take a look at the scientific data which i prefer to look at when i'm looking at these it's a graphical representation at the 95% confidence level, and it says this is a mean of 545 CE. I, I spoke with the person uh, that is managing the kit that is the match at this point. We, we made a determination that it's it can't be any earlier than 500 years ago. More likely it's back uh, further in time than that. And if you take a look at this, this is still saying almost 900 years ago, even in, in the 95% uh, confidence level. This shows you what it is today. Now, for me, it's going to be days or weeks, but for you, it's getting ready to show up what my brother-in-law's data looks like now. Now, on November the 19th, 2022, you see my brother-in-law's updated block tree. With his first cousin once removed data completed, you see they broke out 16 uh, snips into their own personal block area and you have two symbols for the German flag which represents him and his first cousin once removed. This is his block tree now separated out. Now we're going to go over to the block tree match name list and if you notice there's one person now showing and again in the previous video segment there was not anyone there. No one was within 30 snips of my brother-in-law. Now he has his cousin showing up here and they have two non-matching variants. Well, since they have two non-matching variants, we clearly want to look at what the private variant tab looks like now. Let's go to that. Going to my brother-in-law's private variant tab, he used to have 18 here. Just a few minutes ago again, I said that he had 18 private variants in this area he now only has one showing up. At the end of this video, I will link the video that I produced that covers what specific information shows up in each one of those private variants for him and his cousin. For now, I'm gonna continue into the Discover More and take a look at how the, how the timeline has changed, how the scientific data has changed just based on this one test upgrade. Over here, we'll go to Discover More. And obviously, his Haplo group story has changed. It now includes what was his terminal SNP as the upstream SNP, and it shows 
his new terminal SNP block titled FT370730 with two flags. Well, let's just take a quick look backwards in time to what does the term previous terminal SNP look like now. It used to say 550 CE and now it says 500. On the scientific details show that it actually has stepped back from the 545 CE that was shown before to 507. There has been an adjustment to his upstream or his parent SNP based on the fact that his cousin has tested. So it can always affect the upstream terminal SNPs for other people and we can see that here. The 95% confidence level is also altered by about 100 years in the top end and a few decades in the low end. Going back to the story and looking at his actual terminal SNP, it now shows that it's just him, two German flag symbols here, which is his cousin and him that show up here. It also indicates that this particular terminal SNP block is circa 1850 when it was formed. Well, let's take a look at the timeline in more detail to see what it really does now. In the previous uh, portion of this video, you noticed that this FT370938 had two flags going across. Well, you notice now that his cousin and him have actually separated out to a block right here that says formed circa 1827 into the modern era, more realistic for genealogical records. And we know when his ancestor is formed here between the two of them. So this is a great piece of information that we have gained. And let's look at the scientific data and how does that fall. Now it ranges from 1659 to 1934 CE and the mean of the 1827. Big time difference from what we were having. We, we were a thousand years different before. Now we are falling into the realistic time frame that a closer cousin can do for your DNA. And there's a new little feature I'm going to show that was not on my previous one and that's this tab, the Ancestral Path. It has now breaks it down to where this is the modern era. Notice it's basically showing that the time frame related to the age of this SNP is in the modern time. A lot of people see this Middle Age and Imperial Age or Imperial Middle Ages as numbers and that tells you that it's a long time ago. With this being a second cousin or first cousin once removed, uh, tested, it gets it really close. So we can conclude on this is getting even a first cousin to test or first cousin once removed to test will break up a haplo group when you can't get anyone else. The good news for my brother-in-law here is, is there are a few more people that have tested in that are lower level testing, not uh, the big Y, that I've been in discussions with and hopefully we can get them upgraded and break that 16 SNP block that was just created with it, him and his cousin to be a lot smaller. Every test counts. We need to get all the tests we can get. Let's get out there, try to get some more uh, big Y upgrades and find some more people and try to find out what the Y DNA heritage is for every one of us. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe right here or watch some of these other videos. Let's continue learning together.